over there. I just woke up. I'm off to see Avatar 2 later on. But first of all, I'm to record a video. I don't know why, but I feel like this bag makes me feel more professional. We are almost ready to go. Uh, lens. Yeah. My weekly Ultraman reaction for Davidoff Films and then... At 3.30, which is in two hours time, is the movie. The cinema's not that far away from here. We are done. It's just got to be uh, edited for tomorrow. I've also got a bunch of F1 content for my fourth channel, because I have four YouTube channels that I'm yet to upload and all like an hour long. So I need to get that sorted as well. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to transfer these to my computer and then I'll be getting ready for the cinema. Chop, it's only a 25 minute clip. Let's go. Quick, quick. I don't know, I guess like a lot of the world is affected by this actually, but especially in Europe, there's a high cost of electricity and gas now. The bills have gone up tremendously. So I'm turning heaters off when I go to bed. When I'm not here, heaters are off. I don't really hear when I'm here. I mean, we should do that anyway, to be honest. Um, my computers, PS5, everything. Every time I leave, every time I don't use it actually, when I go to bed, whatever, I go under the table turn off both plugs and unplug both plugs. I unplug the electric, the electricity, the, the 4K TV in my room, unplug it every time I don't use it. <laughs> the Xbox in my room as well. Everything electronically that I do not use, I turn it off and I unplug it completely. Just so I can save that extra bit of energy because it's that, it's that crazy. Like 50 pounds used to last you like a month. It's like a top up thing. So you top up money and, it, and you have credit and the credit uses up over time. 50 pounds used to be enough for a month, then it was enough for like three weeks last year. Now it's barely lasting two weeks. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, and I'm paying the electric bill as well. So it's costing me a lot of money. Uh, I'm having to pay like a hundred a month <laughs> just to keep the electrics up. Uh, e even like we've, we've gotten like grants, like the government, I don't know if it's government or someone else, but we're being given £66 per month as an electricity grant. And even that's not helping. Even on top of that, I'm still paying a lot for electricity. That tells you a lot. Because £66 a month used to be fine for, for a month. <laughs> that used to be perfect. I get it in, it's gone in two weeks. <laughs> anyway, on to more positive news. I'm off to see Avatar 2. What I notice in my vlogs is I always naturally look like a certain way, but like I think the camera's over here, but I keep looking, I'm not doing it on purpose, but I keep looking naturally somewhere else. <laughs> um, but yeah, Avatar 1 is not a movie that I loved, but I thought it was good. Um, I thought it was fine. Um, to be fair, like if I watched it in a cinema when it first came out, I would have loved it, I think, because... Uh, I didn't watch it in cinemas until a few weeks ago. They re-released Avatar 1 in cinemas. I watched it in IMAX 3D and it was visually incredible. And the IMAX on top of it was uh, was brilliant. So I can see what people meant when it was like this amazing groundbreaking thing. Uh, unique 3D effects and the visuals. They were groundbreaking for the time. The first time I saw it, I was a teenager and I was watching on a computer. So I didn't get the same experience. But like... That's the thing, it's the visuals and the 3D that was the main selling point for me. I don't think it was like an amazing movie, but I think it was good. Like, I didn't think it was a bad movie. I enjoyed the story. I'm just saying, like, story-wise, it wasn't like something for me worthy of $2.7 billion. But the effects, the 3D, when I finally saw them, I was just like, wow, it is amazing. Anyway, Avatar 2, every reviewer that I watch likes it. Sean Chandler, The Flick Pick, Jeremy Johns, Struggle Nation. Did Andre review it? I can't remember. Tyron Magnus reviewed it. Everyone I've seen has said it's good. So that's a very good sign. Um, with reviews, like if, if they all hated it, I'd still watch it. I'd still watch it and see like if I like it for myself because I always watch it. I always believe like you got to watch it yourself to really form your opinion. You can't just rely on other people's opinions. But... The fact that all these reviewers like, because I, I still like to hear people's views, positive and negative, but the fact that all of the reviewers that I watch, all of my favorite ones on YouTube, have all said it's good. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. And uh, yeah, um, I'm not going to be surprised if the visuals and the 3D is amazing, because I'm sure it will be. 
I'm seeing an Amex 3D today. And if I like it, I watch it again in 4DX. Um, I am not bothered by the runtime. Like three hours, 19, I can sit through that. That's fine. <laughs> a movie can be as long as it wants, all right? I sat through the four hours, Zack Snyder. That was amazing, the Snyder cut. Um, Avengers Endgame, three hours. Um, Wolf of Wall Street, three hours. Titanic, three hours. I can sit through three hours. It's fine. As long as the movie's good enough, that's perfect, all right? And I'm sure it's going to be visually amazing to look at anyway. Um, and I don't think it's a movie where the three hours is going to feel like three hours. I think it will feel like it'll feel like it's faster. Um, but aside from the visuals, I hope the story is good. I hope the characters are good. I'm wondering how they're going to progress this because they're making this like a big franchise. It's going to be Avatar 3, 4, 5, I think 6 as well. They're going crazy with it. Jeremy Cameron is one of the best directors ever. He's directed Terminator 2. He's directed Aliens, Titanic. He knows what he's doing and he knows how to make it look good as well. So, uh, and also, as I mentioned, Aliens, Terminator 2. Two amazing sequels. Then the second movie in the, in, the, in the franchise, both times. This is Avatar 2, the second movie in the franchise. There's a good track record there. I remember watching Sean Chandler in a few videos ranting about James Cameron because he's such a great director, but he's spent so much of his life on Avatar. Like for a lot of us, he's made one movie in our lifetimes. That like, that's pretty crazy. He's made, for me, he's made two movies, I think, Titanic and uh, Avatar in my lifetime. But that's crazy. In so many years, he's only made like a few movies here and there. And Sean Chandler's annoyed about that because, you know, there could be so much he could have, so many movies he could have potentially made, but he still decided to like dedicate himself to this. I'm not as angry about it. <laughs> Because he is a great director, and I want to I want to see more of his work, and we haven't seen that, obviously. But I'm not really mad about it. All I am saying is, it better be worth it. If he spent this much time dedicating it to Avatar, it better be worth it. And also, one thing, like, I love Marvel, DC, I love franchises, right? But these franchises have deadlines, right? you got to make this movie in two years or three years. This is the release date. It's announced before you even start making the movie. This is, it's like a university um, assignment deadline like it's like a college deadline you've got to get it done by here and here and here and i think that's why sometimes the effects kind of suffer because sometimes you see like infinity war the uh, uh iron the, the hulkbuster armor mark ruffalo um that movie had good cgi great cgi for the most part but it did have a few misses here and there and aside from the Avengers movies, like other movies have a bit more mistakes. DC as well has had a few CGI mishaps here and there. They all have deadlines, right? Jim Cameron has been working on Avatar for years and years and years. And what I have learned is that the more time you have to perfect a movie, especially one that, has, that relies on a lot of like green screen and effects, the longer you have to make it, the better it's going to look. So... You know, I'm expecting this to look amazing because, you know, when you give directors and filmmakers more time, the quality is better. But yeah, I'm, I'm still talking and uh, we're not movieing. So let me get to the cinema. Hopefully the nachos. Last time I went to the cinema, I was very annoyed, right? Because I went to get some nachos. I Every time I go to cinema, I always get nachos, two dips, both cheese, no jalapenos. I went there. The guy gave it to me with jalapenos. I never get jalapenos ever. And I said, no jalapenos. And he was so surprised, like, no jalapenos? Did you say that? And at this point, I thought, oh, misunderstanding. But then he started getting, like, a, a fork or something and started picking each one out while his friend was laughing about it. And then they gave me it back with still a few jalapenos in the pot. Like, just avoid those ones, mate. It was a Sunday. There was like five people in the cinema and there was too many nachos. They could have given me another one and the nachos were a bit, some of the nachos were a bit soggy as well. Um, the very bad customer service from Cineworld there. I, I've been going there for years on a membership. I, I, I love going there, but I'm just like, all I want is, is this order correct. Nachos, two cheese dips, no jalapenos. And then you do that to me. It's not just giving me the wrong thing, he's also taking the piss afterwards. But anyway, let's not be angry. Let's go and watch Avatar 2. I'm excited for this. Uh, IMAX 3D. Let's go. To pick my special shoes for this one. I'm hoping for a crowd today. Um, 
it's the Monday before Christmas and uh, works, the schools, they've all like, you know, closed for holidays. Not everyone, I still work because I got one of those jobs that needs to be, <laughs> oh, needs to be open during Christmas time as well. But anyway, yeah, a lot of people, is my point, are, you know, off work for two weeks or off school, off university. So I'm hoping there's a good crowd today. One of my favorite things about going to the cinema is the crowd. I love a crowd and uh, I love hearing people's reactions to crazy moments, funny moments, um, ridiculous moments, etc. So I'm hoping for a bit of that today, but I didn't book it, I, I just booked it and it seemed about a third full. Not good enough, I want more. Bad news, there's more here than usual, but still not enough people. I've just seen the last screening just come out and not enough people. Last time I screened anyway, there's 4DX, there's 2D, there's so many screens of this, like most of the cinema is Avatar, but still, IMAX wise, the previous screening just came out. Not many people, not many people have come here for the next screening. On the other hand though, the good news is, the guy who gave me jalapenos is not here. wondering like when we're on the side like I get it most people like the middle I get that me personally I like my little corner it's just, just a nice corner I can still see the screen it's not a terrible angle I like my corner that's all <laughs> so I've done it I finally done it I have found the perfect dip I opened it there's no there's nothing on that it's just completely in the pot fully it's nothing's happened to it it's like it's fleshly been produced for me. Never had that. Half the time it's hard to peel off. And when you do, there's always dip on the lid. This was just perfect off. What's happening? Provider, lover of fantastic things. Twice. It's happened twice. It all began 1200 years ago. In the elven golden era. I'm now going to go enjoy my nachos, probably eat them all before the movie starts because that's typical of me. And then I love, I love the trailers, I'm going to enjoy the trailers, enjoy the movie, and hopefully enjoy the movie anyway. And uh, I will tell you my thoughts afterwards. So I will see you afterwards. It's in the cinema at quarter past three. It's now 7.30pm. It's cold, it's windy, it's raining. I think I'm gonna wait till I'm home to actually review it, but what I will say for now is I had a good time. That was good, better than the first one in every possible way. The effects were brilliant. The effects on the first one were great, but like the effects on the second one, they leveled it up somehow. <laughs> All these years of waiting, actually, you can see why it looks, to, why they waited this long because it looks incredible. And uh, the 3D effects, 3D is like a, a no, is it is a novelty a right word? But it's worn off. Like for years and for a long time, like at least a decade, 3D used to be something that's really cool, but for the last decade, it's not really been that cool. But having said that, there were some good 3D effects on this movie, especially in some of the water scenes. So I'll give them that, but the 3D I don't feel is necessary, if I'm being honest. But yeah, great visuals, great CGI. It's not just the environment and the visuals itself, but also the people, the, the blue Navi. They look real. <laughs> they look so real and it's amazing what technology can do and uh, yeah as I mentioned characters great characters improvement on the first movie uh, even the main characters themselves Jake Sully Latiri their characters are elevated in this movie they got a family now they got kids they got to look after they got to protect the sky people are still around so they still got that element there's some really cool battle scenes I enjoyed the fight scenes in this more than the previous one there was more emotion in this one more heart in this one the story was so much better than the first one. The story in this one, it continues from the first one in a very good way. And it's, I, I really enjoyed the story. I really enjoyed the plot, the way it went, the emotion, the, there's so many emotions this uh, movie captures. And uh, yeah, it, it did not feel like three hours. It felt shorter than that. Uh, there was, as for the crowd, it wasn't, it wasn't a full uh, screening, unfortunately. I think the last time I saw like packed out screens was the Batman. So, too long ago, too long ago, but uh, still, like, they were, it was still, like, filled up pretty well in the middle. Um, so, like, at least, like, a third or so, like I mentioned before, 
when when I booked it. Um, so you still got some good reactions, which I, which I liked. Um, but yeah, there's a few bits of humor here and there, but for the most part, a very serious movie. And uh, there's some returning characters who return in different ways, if that makes sense. I'm not going to say much else because it's spoilers. Um, but yeah, <laughs> visually, also the water scenes are really cool, especially like the visuals are great for the for everything, but for the water scenes especially, it looks the best. And obviously, a lot of the movie is water themed. But yeah, um, I'm very intrigued. Obviously, they got sequels coming, but they didn't, they didn't end this movie in a way where. You know, they just cliffhanger it or anything. There's nothing like that. Um, there's still like more to come. Like they clearly ended the story. Like yeah, there's a lot more coming. This is not the end, but they still gave this movie its own ending. So yeah, it works for me. It works really well. And yeah, honestly, better than the first one in every way imaginable. It's a nine out of ten. I look forward to seeing it again. Um, although like, I'm not sure how good the 4DX will be. Mainly because 4DX is good when it's like action throughout. There's a lot of scenes here where there's no action. There's a lot of action, but a lot of no action at the same time. It is three hours long. So I don't know about 4D. I feel like half the movie, you'd just be sitting there, not moving about. So I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but I'm, I'll probably watch it. I want to rewatch it. And when I do, I think it will be in 4D, assuming it's still in 4D by the time I get there. Because the local cinema I have, you know, when, a, when another one releases, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll push that movie more. But there's no releases coming, I think, in the next few weeks. So it should still be in 4D. Obviously, and it's Avatar as well. So it will stay out in uh, in higher cinema formats for a while. It's just that I'm worried because sometimes they bring out a new movie and then it leaves IMAX in 4D after a couple weeks and then it goes, it goes to normal screenings. But I would hope that Avatar is one of the exceptions. Plus, there's not many big releases coming in January anyway, so we're fine. But yeah, uh, this was good. This was good. As I said, better in every way. 9 out of 10. Really enjoyed it. I recommend it. And uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely want to see this again. And hopefully, because the first one's not in, four, not in 4K yet. Don't know why. Never released in 4K. Hopefully this second one releases in 4K because that movie would look incredible on my 4K TV. Not quite as good as in an IMAX cinema screen, but still, for home video... In 4K, that would look incredible on my LG 4K. Give me that. And the first one. Re release the first one on 4K as well. Why is it still not here? I don't know. This is your boy Zavadon. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.